All right, you guys, so we're gonna be shooting a bulletproof vest with gamolitos. Let's try it. Oh, you sure it's not gonna go through, right? Nah, it's shooting. All right, all right. You good? What's up everyone? Today I got a crazy video for you guys. I'm gonna be shooting this bulletproof vest. It's uh it has Kevlar. It doesn't have metal plates, but it does have Kevlar. It's not like a airsoft vest or anything like that. It's a real vest. It's meant to stop. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here, I'll probably take it out for you guys. Let me take it out for you guys real quick. It is Kevlar. It doesn't have metal plates. Obviously, I don't think that's going to go... Any of the pellets will go through a metal plate. But this is level 3 body armor. Hold up. Alright, let me see. Sure. All right, you guys, so this is a level 3A. It's ready to stop up to 44 Magnum. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So, let's get started. All right, you guys, these are the pellets that we're going to be shooting today. I think the Crossman Fast Flights have the greatest chance of penetrating because look at how skinny they are compared to all the other ones. And they're really light, so they're going super fast. Let's get started. So if none of them go through, I'm going to be dieseling the pellets with this pellet gun oil right here. To make it go faster. So let's see. And also I'm shooting where there's like a gap on the back side. So the metal, this metal is not stopping any of the pellets from coming out the back. And also you guys, I'm going to be shooting from around 10 feet. And I'm going to be using my Gamma Viper Whisper, 1300 feet per second. Alright, so the Copper Magnums are going first. Alright, so that was the Copper Magnum, the holes right here. I didn't see anything bounce back, but I don't feel anything in there. It's just like a little, a little dent, and then there's nothing at all on the back side. All right, we got the H and N Hornets next. All right, that was the H and N Hornet right here. Oh, I could feel it. Oh, it's stuck in. It's jammed in there. Good. You see the back side? Nope, nothing. Let me try to take it out with the knife handy dandy knife hold on real quick come on Oh, look at the brass tip right there. Look at that. It's a mushroomed out, but the tip, look at that. I think these made it farther than these. I don't think these are even in there, are they? Nah, this one didn't go through. So the H&N Hornets went farther than the Copper Magnums. We got the Gold Flights next. Alright, that was the Gold Flights. Let's check it out. It's stuck right here. I don't know if this is just the skirt or the... Oh, it's stuck in there. Good. Damn, all of them keep getting stuck. Come on. Nope. I don't feel anything on the other side. 
Right, let me get my knife again. Oh, the skirt. The actual pellet's coming out too. need pliers all right you guys so the next ones are going to be the prometheus excites these right here they kind of look like the gamolitos prometheus excites All right, you guys, so that was the Prometheus Excite. It hit right next to the Gold Flight. Oh, yup, it's in there. Damn, that created a big lump right there. Oh, I could feel it on the other side. Oh, yeah, it's jammed in there really good. It's like in the middle of the whole thing. Yep, I can feel it. Me. Hold up. I don't want to mess it up too much, but. Oh yeah, it's all the way in there. You can see the the skirt right like deep inside of there. Yeah, that's not coming out at all. So the Prometheus Excites made it the furthest in so far. Let's try the Gamolitos. Remember, if they don't make it through, we're gonna diesel them. Those are the Gamolitos. They're stuck in there. There's a skirt. Let me see the back side. Nope, I don't feel anything on the Gamolitos. Nope. So the Prometheus Excites made it the furthest into the bulletproof vest. Alright you guys, so last but not least, we're going to see if the Crossman Fast Flights are going to make it through. I think these have the best chance though, so let's see. Alright, so let's see if the Crossman Fast Flights made it through. Oh, I I could feel like a bulging. I don't see the skirt. I think the skirt actually flew out. Oh, I could see the pellet. So the pellet separated from the skirt. Oh, yeah, I could feel. Whoa, yup. There's like a bulge right there. Oh, yeah, these made it the furthest in there so far. The Crossman Fast Lights. Oh, yeah. They're in there, but it kind of like... I don't know. It's in there. Let, you know what? Let's try to um, diesel them now. Let's do all of them, but let's diesel them. Alright, so the Crossman Fast Flights made it the furthest so far. So the top two so far without dieseling is the... Oh, I, I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's windy right now. But yeah, Crossman Fast Flights and the Prometheus Excites. 
All right, you guys, so now we're gonna try dieseling them. So we're gonna put there in this one. Right? There's a copper magnum. I'm gonna put it in there. And now let's try, oh, it's not even open yet. You guys said just put like a drop, so oh, I'll have to cut it open. All right, hold on. Oh, it's red? What the heck? That's weird. Alright. Oh, it's dripping. Alright, let's just try this. Here we go. Alright, let's see. I'm going to just put a drop. I don't know. If my gun breaks, you guys owe me a new pellet rifle. It's a drop. I don't know how much I'm supposed to do or anything. So, there's a drop in there. Close it. Let's get started. Sorry, you guys, for the audio. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's really windy right now. But, wow, that was louder. And it had, like, a bunch of smoke coming out of my rifle. All right, so this time it hit right here. Or oh, I could feel it in there this time. So it did go deeper. Last time it just bounced off with the copper magnum, it bounced off and then right here, it's stuck in there. Let me try to take it out real quick. All right, let's see if it, how deep it actually went. Damn, this is hard to rip. Oh, yeah, you can see it in there. Let me see if you guys could. You can see it right there. Oh, it's stuck in there pretty deep. Oh, but it actually broke into a bunch of little pieces. Look at that. So you guys, I guess dieseling does work. They made it go further into the vest. That's pretty sick. Sorry for the wind, you guys. But yeah, the next ones are gonna be the H&N Hornets. So you just put it, I don't know if I'm supposed to put another drop or what. I'm gonna just put a drop on each one. There's a drop. Just close it. All right, so I moved it over there in the sun a little bit more so you guys can see better because the shade is right here now. My bad, you guys. I accidentally didn't record the H&N Hornet because when I, I thought I was already recording, but when I actually went to stop it, it barely started recording. So, yeah. Let's see. It's right here. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Oh, I could feel it. I could feel it in the back. Yup. Oh, can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see. It's in there. It did not make it out, though. Are right, you guys, we're going to go with the Camolitos next. Put another drop. Oh, cool. hope it doesn't spill. Damn, that was way louder than all the other ones. 
but let's see it's right here it actually broke the skirt like in the middle like you can see that's the back of it it's stuck in there oh there we go mm, i don't know if it went further into it i think the regular gamolito went in deeper oh yeah all right you guys saw the next up is the crossman fast flights another drop i don't i really don't know how many drops or anything how much i'm supposed to be putting all right you guys so damn those are pretty loud with the dieseling all right so it's right there i did see like something fly off i don't know if that was just the the skirt again it just feels i don't know it doesn't feel like too much let's see no way no way what the heck it came out look at that that's crazy it came out that's hold on let me get my knife real quick that's hold on let me see if it came out for real because that's a perfect oh yup no way no way that's Hold on. yup it came out that's freaking crazy look at that You can kind of see where it, like it took some of that like whatever cloth with it, the Kevlar. Damn, it came out. I knew those were they had the best chance. All right, what up, you guys? I actually skipped the Prometheus excites, but I'm still shocked that the these fast flights literally made it through the bulletproof vest all right so here you go there's a drop all right yeah these are loud all right they hit right there oh i could feel it Let's see if they made it through. Oh yeah, they did not make it through, but I could feel the bulging. Oh yeah, I could feel the, you could, you can see the skirt right there. Did not make it through though. So you guys, I'm really impressed right now. All you guys need to do to shoot through a bulletproof vest get these fast flights and get the this right here pellet gun oil and just the 177 rifle that's rated at 1300 feet per second and you should be good all right so that's the end of today's video the only ones that made it through are the fast flights with the dieseling and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe comment tell me what you guys think what you guys want me to do new ideas everything let me know thank you guys for watching and yes i am wearing eye protection welcome to my laboratory where safety is number one priority <laughs> all right you guys so i'm gonna be redoing this video too so make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video i'm gonna be shooting it again but i'm gonna be dieseling the pellets you see, none of them made it through both of the layers, but let's see if we diesel them.